Okay, this morning we are headed into Washington, D.C. It's like an hour and 40 minutes, two hours from our current campground. So it's 6.30, heading in bright and early. We have to drop off this guy at a pet sitter um, that we found on Rover. And then we're going to just see how much we can do in one whole day. So there's a ton to do, so I'm sure we're going to miss many of the things. I know that the Air and Space Museum is one of the things that we really wanted to do. Um, and unfortunately, it's closed due to renovation. So... We won't get to hit that one this time, but we'll see what we get to do in one day's worth. Okay, we are able to find parking. It's just street parking. Um, you can stay there for three hours. And it was only $6.90 for all three hours, so. Now we just gotta walk that away. Something to keep in mind when walking around the DC area. If you're here to see the different memorials, if you're walking with children, you should definitely keep in mind all the different crosswalks, different roads you have to cross. We've so far ran into a bunch of different little jams where we have to walk back to go hit a crosswalk because it's really busy here. So, a lot of fun, right, Sarah? Yeah, it's hot already. Yeah, it is pretty warm. Second only to the loss of more than 620,000 Americans during our Civil War. Last time me and Jada came here, it was just me and her, and it was like, whoops, didn't get my head. It was just me and her, and it was like pretty dead. But now there's like a bunch of teens, a lot of field trips today. So. Oh, they're coming underwear! Oh, the little duckies! There's two mommies. That's probably two different groupings. Maybe. Look how, Mama, you see the baby duckies? Look how little! They're, they're the cute! Two different sets, and they don't know which one's which. They are! Are there more baby duckies? No, they all ate. But there are them. Hi, guys! <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's this? I didn't see that. Anyway, yeah, so there's a lot of fun teenagers. Not my favorite age group, but um. 
That's the downside That's of okay. coming on the uh, coming on a weekend or a weekday. Well, yeah, but me and Jada came on a weekday, and I guess it's just the time of year, the end of school. Yeah, not a baby duck. Oh, there's one baby He's all alone. <laughs> Okay, will you take care of me? No? Okay. I will take care of you. Oh, he's, he's separated. Okay, so we got to the National Monument area. Uh, go right. Um, we say like eight, eight forty-five, almost nine o'clock. We walked it. We're leaving. It is eleven thirty almost. And when we got here, there was a ton of like open parking. But as we leave, it's like all taken up. <laughs> it's it busy real quick. Um, so we're gonna head into one of the museums. I think the Natural History Museum of Curiosity. I think is technically the name of it? Yeah, National, National Museum of Natural History. That one. So this is probably why people take public transportation into DC, because we're in like the museum district and there's, um, yeah, parking's ridiculous, especially when you're trying to park a big dually. Especially? Especially. Oh. That's what I said. You always say especially. I do not. I said especially. Uh, I'm going to go listen to it. It's going to say video, especially. And it's gonna yeah, say I have especially. video too. It's going to say especially. Uh huh. Anyway. Anyway. Especially when you're trying to park a big old dually, you don't really fit many places. So. But wait. Why do I have a green but they have a white right away? What, what the hell? Well, that because it's just sense. green to go that way too. I'll just have to wait. <laughs> we'll see if we find parking. And give us enough time to actually go into the museums. So we found parking. <laughs> this was the tallest parking garage. That uh, is up. You can see. Oh, look at that. So you can see the truck. This is the biggest parking garage that we could find. It's seven feet. All the rest were like six feet, which we wouldn't have fit in. We barely fit in this. Okay, so Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to finagle and park real close. Eating lunch. And there's a big old shark above us. Shark buddies. Sorry, how's your mac and cheese? Good. Good. Kids, how's the food here? <laughs> they will do thumbs up. <laughs> so, something to note if you ever come here, eat at the food trucks that are stacked in front of this place. This is, the food trucks would have been way better. Way better. Food's not bad, it was just, uh, it's just expensive it's for like, not great. It's like lunch grade cafeteria food that you pay like $90 for. Disney prices? We didn't yeah, even Disney spend this price. much on like lunches at Disney. Right? Okay, well, maybe we did for like dinner. I mean, I would say this is pretty close to Disney. Club. My burger was yeah. nine bucks. It's okay. It's a 
with our first museum and we are tired. Tired. Now we have to walk like 20 minutes um, to get to the International Spy Museum, which the kids really wanted to do. The Natural History Museum of Curiosity is, I think I'm saying that right, it's free. Um, the International Spy Museum is not free. So we wanted to try to save some energy for that museum since we're actually paying to get in. Um, and hopefully it's worth it. We'll let you guys know. Okay, we're off on our next adventure. FYI, if you get these ice creams from the ice cream trucks outside of the museum, they are $8. So we spent $24 on three ice creams for the kids but at this point if it keeps them a little bit happy then i guess it's worth it and we are trying to not get rained on we're finally almost to the international spy museum the kids are geared up and ready to go are they yeah there, they're excited Are you guys for it. ready for the spy museum? Yes! Yes! Daddy, Daddy, Daddy on the spy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> The airplane. That's cool. What do you think about the spy museum? It was it was fun. I we did we get through all that? Yeah. We didn't get to, so we, well, we did didn't all do the, We didn't do all the activities. We kind of got tired and wanted to head out. Yeah, our legs are tired. It's day and time. We're gonna get yummy food, and it was fun. We got the missions, and guess we gotta keep the cards. Yes. Yeah. So, I loved thought? it. It was the best. Here, you can pull your mask down or take it off, actually. The Spy Museum was awesome. It was fun. It was adventurous. I got to, I actually oh, held onto a bar longer than my dad did. You hung on for 60 seconds. And I beat Richard, who's in the military. He's in the Navy. And I'm like, <laughs> how did I you beat, beat a lot it? of people. I mean, after all, he was. I got six seconds. So was And I didn't even do it, so you did better than me. We did decoding. There was some coding that was pretty fun. Yeah. We did 
and it, there was like this scrambled up word stuff. Yeah, when and we, we went up, up under, it put like a red thingy, glass thing, you could see it clearly. Yeah. We went up in so cool. the elevator to uh, get into the rooms and stuff, and it was, like oh, went into blue it. lights oh. and then started saying some stuff, so it was a pretty cool experience. Yeah, it was fun. I loved it. I'm going to rate this place a uh, 10 out of 10. And it probably would have been better if we didn't have the toddler. She was kind of done, and then we were kind of done. Our legs started hurting, and we're hungry. We want to go get dinner. Um, but it would have been cool to experience some more of the things that you could interact with. But that's okay. We still had a good time.